In your Consumer Watch tonight, water bills could soon go up for Colorado Springs Utilities customers. The company's board, which is comprised of the same members on the Colorado Springs City Council, recommending a half percent rate hike to take effect next year. News 5 Sam Kramer in studio looking into why the board wants this change now. Sam. Yeah, the idea behind this rate increase is to help the city's Parks and Recreation Department adequately water our parks, green spaces, and urban forest. It would give the department about a million dollars, additional million dollars to do so, but the rate hike was not fully endorsed. We always shut off our water systems in the winter and hope that nature takes care of us. It's the philosophy on keeping the city of Colorado Springs green but Mother Nature is not holding up her end of the deal. We have about uh, 5 million uh, trees in, in uh, Colorado Springs, uh, and we're losing two or 3,000 of them a year to uh, the drought, and uh, especially after this last winter. That's why the Colorado Springs Utilities Board is proposing a half percent rate hike starting in January of next year, another half percent in 2020, which would help the city's Parks and Rec Department keep our grass and trees adequately watered. They're just watering the grass to keep it alive, uh, but they're not watering the trees at all. They just don't have the budget for it uh, and they uh, are dying. The average customer would pay about 34 cents more per month, giving the department around a 33 percent boost to its watering budget. But Councilman Andy Pico, who's vice chair for the Utilities Board, thinks there's a better way. The water bill that the city pays for uh, really should be funded through the city municipal budget. Uh, the issue for me is the fact that, you know, if you're budgeting uh, appropriately from the city, you should be able to pay your water bill. Pico says he isn't against taking care of our parks, but he says finding $1 million in a $500 million budget is more appropriate. Shifting that cost to the uh, other ratepayers you know, essentially is a backdoor tax, and I'm very much opposed to doing that. Now, the proposed hike will go to a public hearing before the council next week, but it's important to note this is all dependent upon the weather. They say if we have a wet summer and winter, the city will not ask for more money from its ratepayers. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs, Sam Kramer, News 5.